We're really excited about our first opportunity to have students. Our first class will begin August of 2021, and we're excited to have that class and our, in our brand new facilities at South Dakota State University. We're really excited. These are all brand new renovated facilities specifically for our 2 plus 2 program. We're also connected to the South Dakota Animal Disease Research and Diagnostic Lab, literally um, 100 yards to our north. That lab sees a, a, around 500,000 cases a year and will be a huge benefit to our 2 plus 2 program. Additionally, within one mile of where we're seated right now, this is our brand new anatomy lab. All of our research and um, animal science farms are located, and we're really excited to incorporate those farms into our program as well. And so one of the positives of this program is that we have a small class size of 20, uh, no more, and so that one-on-one -on -one interaction with the instructors and not just a number, but you're also a name, and having that um, ability to work very closely with faculty, uh, especially within the uh, courses you'll take, and then also if there's some special area as far as research goes, that'll be a wonderful opportunity for students to interact with faculty on that basis as well. You'll spend two years at South Dakota State finishing, completing all of the veterinary basic sciences. We are gonna mix a number of clinical sciences in fact, your first semester here, you'll have clinical skills one through clinical skills for your fourth semester at South Dakota State. Once you complete that uh, basic science component, then you transfer to the University of Minnesota for your third and fourth years. Third year is mostly clinical sciences, although there are things like toxicology mixed in. And fourth year then is 100% clinical rotations. Both third and fourth year will be at the University of Minnesota. So there is a need for rural mixed animal practitioners in the upper Midwest and especially in South Dakota. So this program is designed to help train students regardless of where they would like to go within um, the United States, but really focusing on that rural aspect. And so there is a need for veterinarians. We find that a lot of mixed animal practices um, range all the way from cow calf feedlots, you know, and also doing small animal companion animal medicines. So there's a wide range of animals that are worked on and needs that are met through rural veterinary medicine. So there is a need within the upper Midwest and especially in South Dakota. So I'm a veterinarian. I also practice um, at a clinic nearby and so I have practical experience and I also have the teaching experience and to bring that practical experience and all of those things that I do um, every day at the clinic to the students here, it relates um, so well to what they're going to be doing and what they're going to be learning. And it just helps them know what to expect as future veterinarians. There are a lot of opportunities here to um, learn all different kinds of things about veterinary medicine right here at SDSU. And one thing that um, is very nice is the necropsy floor, and it's a wonderful place. They take students, and all over in this building, they um, help students learn lots of different things about bacteriology, virology, um, necropsy and anatomy and physiology, all of these different things. And there's so many opportunities for students to get to have firsthand in those labs and in those situations, even as far as um, the farms and such, they employ students that can learn from that. And that is invaluable, that nothing can replace hands-on. You can learn it in a book all day, but hands-on is the best. And I'm really excited to see you in person sometime soon. Whether that's a tour of our facilities or whether it's inside our program. Thank you.